Hello, everybody. This is Alex Foss, and I'm so happy to have you here for another TV e-course. Today, we're going to be going to the Paul W. Clips Museum. Now, Paul W. Clips was probably one of the premier designers of speakers for high fidelity. He was building speakers even before they had radio transmitting equipment in the early 1900s, and he had a way of applying the mathematics to the actual structure of a speaker to make it sound really good and probably still even today the best speaker you can buy for sound reproduction is the clips horn he came out with very different models and you know the la scala and the heresy and of course there's competitors that made really good speakers but none of them have really been able to get to the level of a clips horn for sound quality at least that's my opinion you'll get other people who will say different things but what I thought was important was to go to Hope, Arkansas, and go to the Clips Museum and get to know a little bit more about Paul Clips and speaker manufacture. I'm sure glad you're here with us for this class today, and I appreciate you. I worked with Paul Clip for 31 years, started in 1976. And, uh, so I'm caretaker of the museum now, trying to uh, keep Mr. Clip name alive and everything. So. This is what I do. Okay. Uh, come to the back here, I'll show you a little uh, picture of it. Uh, Mr. Clip's wife, she's still alive. Mm -hmm. Nine, eight years old. Uh huh. She still stayed in hope. This here, what we show first, these are the six main speakers that he's famous for. Uh huh. Uh, the K-horn, the bell clip, the scholars, and the heresies. Okay, so this is the original this clips the original horn clip right here. Horn right here. Right there, those two. Right. And what's that one in the middle? That's the bell clip. He named that after the first wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah and those are heresies down there? These are my heresies there. Okay. Uh, these are the scholars. Uh-huh. Uh, then they got the corn wall. Uh-huh. Now... I heard the heresy had a name because of uh, he chose a something. It was a heresy or something. What was that about? Oh Lord, that's wrong. I can't put the deck in words how that went. But uh, I know that the heresy when I started there, the heresy was the cheapest speaker you can buy at the time. Uh huh. You know, back in the seventies and the sixty. Uh, a lot of people couldn't afford the heresies, I mean afford the K-horns, uh -huh. they could afford the heresy because back then uh, a lot of the heresies and stuff was in the military bases. Uh -huh. and so and that's where a lot of them got sold at. And, you know, all this K-horn stuff was sold overseas because back then they were three, four thousand dollars for a K-horn. Oh wow. See that's why a lot of people didn't really know that this factory even exists in Hope. It's called fact Mr. Clippers is his own sale and he flew a lot. Mm -hmm. He had his own planes, so he sold his own speakers and stuff, you know. And Germany and all them bought it, cause in fact they lacked the United States stuff, said made out of the United States, you know. So that's how the heck a lot of people really didn't know this place was here, you know. Mr. Clip with it put hope on the map, cause in fact he do a lot of international sales, you know. So it's this. Then Mr. Clips got up there and he sold his plant. Uh huh. 1989 to Fred Clips. That's his cousin. And that's when things started changing. To uh, That's why you see the speakers separated. Uh, Mr. Clips, Fred didn't have no hand in this, but he had a hand in all these new model speakers. The CF1, CF3, the KG.5, KP400, and stuff like that. So we separated, you know, the yields and stuff of it. Now down here, these look like... These, these are, are the oldest ones in here. Uh-huh. Now what is that? These are 1956 heresies. Uh-huh. These are made out of half inch back then. They, didn't have they look almost them. handmade. Yeah, well, everything was handmade. You know, them the oldest one, they back then a lot of half inch boards to use. For, for a half inch. And uh, paper cone, them is, them are the rigid horns and stuff, metal horns. 1980, when Fred took up everything, went to plastic horns and stuff. See, uh, in 1980, uh, 
most of the clips with Fred Clips started out certain a lot of that stuff. Network and everything. Everything was built into plan. From network, tweels and everything was done right there. But when Fred bought it, he started out certain a lot of stuff, you know. So anything that I always say anything that passed eighty is not old, it's new model stuff where they went to start shipping stuff from Japan, uh, networks and whoopers and everything. You know, it's just it's just that's that's where it is. Back then you competing, you won't be number one and you have to be able to fill orders in you know, like forty eight hours. Now what did you do when you were working here for clips? I, I built K horns and I run a shipping receiver. Mm -hmm. For uh, about 20 years. Now, did you do the uh, uh, soldering and the woodworking? I did all of it. Really? When I started there, I started, when I started at Clips, when you first started there, you didn't just go straight into the plant. They had you doing the outside work, you dumped the trash, you you dumped the, the, the uh, what you call it, sandbags and stuff, all that dust and stuff. They kind of see if you're going to work. Then you come into the plant. You're on a 90 day probation. Mm. Well, you even start even try even run a table saw, so you have to start from scratch. They need to bring you right in and put you to work. And so I built K horns. I ran table saw, mallet saw. That's why them cuts in the hand. Cause back then you had a pin rattler, and you these side grills here have to be rattled out. As it's about a half inch, jumping half inch, and you put around sometimes that pin jump up. Mm. You'll find get caught across you don't get it out because they had jig they had little jig boards that you put it in there. Mm. So in in the eighties they went to the computer machines and stuff, you know, back you know, so you just put the board in there, it's all my the C and C and C they call it. Now what was Paul Clips like? You got Paul the... Clip is a man that you ain't gonna forget. He's he's tall and he's a person that Money didn't mean a whole lot to them back then. Paul liked his toys and his, his planes, and uh, he loved being in the lab, fooling with speakers and stuff. When I came along, I didn't know too much about speakers and stuff. I used to stay in the lab a lot. He used to uh, buy other people's speakers, that's like Bo, JB, and all them. He used to tear them down. Now, I, I asked him one day, I said, why are you tearing them folks' speakers down? Got to see what makes the girls good so I can stay on top, you know. So he did a lot of that. He, you know, he, 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 you go to his house and you see all the little gadgets he got there. Even set your time. He had gadgets that he'll set your times and stuff like that. He just, he just one a man that you just, you don't see every day. I mean, yeah. I mean, he, he's something there. You ever go to his home that boy would have got me? He had a train. That come out of this building, that come into this kitchen. She put a drink on there. It go right back out to the pool where he ain't got to get out of the pool. Wow. That was kind of neat. I saw that. I said, Lord, look at him. Mm. Well, I, 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 lots of people think this particular speaker here, uh, the clips horn, is the best speaker you can buy. It is because it's, it's a folded horn. It's got a lot of chambers to it. It's got and it's take a corner because the sound got to come straight to the back and come out, you know. Uh, it's a lot of pieces to that speaker. See, that's like 180 something pieces go to this speaker. Then it's about 500 something screws to mm. put this bad boy together. I mean, this bad boy ain't nothing nice to put together now. You got to know what you're doing. Because that is hallway, I, I can show you what it looked like before you sold it together. See, that's the way it look like that inside. It's all this stuff got to be put together. When you started putting that together, you got one piece board, and all this got to be put together. Mm. You know. So it's it's, it's it, it ain't nothing easy about it. And all these walls here is what he got from the city. Recognized Mr. Clips, been famous and stuff. You know all these factories and stuff used to. Put an ad in the, in the papers and stuff. Congratulations, him, all that. I try to put that on on this down this hallway. I try to do a little bit of everything to showing the people about Mr. Clips, and I done wood.
because the fact he's a wood man, not all that old plastic stuff. So I'm doing this hallway in wood and stuff. I go collect old frames and stuff, blow the pictures up to the frames I got. And down here, oh, I try to put some of his friend. Wolfman Jack was his friend at the time. You know, he's a real man. So they were buddies. Then uh, I tried to show a little bit of him and his, his lab and stuff. And down here, I tried to... Oh, well, here's one of those sound baths. That, that sounds chamber. That's one that's airtight. tight. And you go in there and they seal it off. And that's kind of a buckle there. You hear your heart beating like on old water. And this here is, I'm trying to do a little bit of history of uh, him when he got old. That's when the plant, this when the plant, when he first started making speakers and trying to go that way with it. This where the plant looked when I started there, you know, and I try to put some of the peoples there, what we used to do in there and all that kind of stuff. And uh, got a lot still to do. And uh, out here is the God that we they donated to Mr. Clips that I keep up. It ain't nothing nice trying to keep this garden. I don't use spray. I got to pull the grass and everything up out of here. And uh, it's hard trying to keep this garden look green. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I took some video down there. Mm -hmm. Now what's back over here? You got a, uh, a they, gift? They got a they got an art council in here where they used to teach kids art and stuff. That's what this is. It's the art council where they uh, keep, you know, they teach that stuff to the kids and stuff. In here, this here is a little bit. Me and him, I was in Rolling Stone in 83. Me and him. That's you there. Yeah, yeah, that's me there. And this show you a little bit of history of, uh, see it's, it's strange in 83, I didn't know a whole lot about Michael Jackson then. That's why it's strange that we was on, he's on the other side of the picture there in that, that year. And uh, This him, this little stuff I'm putting on him, and that's the group I started in 76. That's my group, Bell Ball and all. Uh, that, was, that was a group. I ain't kidding. And uh, this is a little bit of stuff I set up for him. Showing everybody when they got old speakers, the metal horn, the network that we used to make. So here's the KP400. KP400. These are the newer ones. Yeah, this this one took to try to take the place of the K-horn at the time. This has a, it's got a preamp in the back of it. Uh -huh. It's got a 15 inch whoop inside of it. This pick of him was, um, it was kind of one of them product. This pick of weighed almost 200 pounds. And OSHA back in them days was kind of rough. We shipped these speakers out of him. They got a feet about this long bit under there. Folks wasn't putting the feet on it. Then OSHA said, you know, we just tip over. You could kill a kid. So mm -hmm. we got away, away from that speaker there because people weren't putting their feet on there. So, you know, OSHA is kind of rough back then. They, you, know, you get a complaint, they going to sure come to us. Now, what's this one here? The Them are the CF3s. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the first one that. Uh, Judy Clip and Fred Clip design. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's down CF3, CF4, CF1, CF2. Mm -hmm. Now, in your opinion, what's the very best one of all? Is it still the Clips horn? Yeah, the Clips. It's hard to beat. It's mm -hmm. hard to beat. 
you know, throwing about that K horn, it don't take a whole lot of watts to push it. One watt to push that big old speaker mm -hmm. and it sound great. And um, it's hard to beat that grouse. So, I mean, it's hard. I know a lot of the new ones, you have to have a lot of power for them to put well, out. Well, people sound. think that you got a lot of power, you got some. But people got to realize more power you got, that speaker ain't going to last a long time. It's designed for you to come back in there and get another speaker lay on because you, you shoot that. Anytime you shoot a lot of watts or something like that, so a length of time, that's wear and tear. I mean, it ain't going to last too long. Yeah. You keep shooting it in there. Is this his old desk over here or what is that? That desk there brought to the city brought in here. Oh. You know, Mr. Clip desk is out there in New Mexico. No, we got a museum in New Mexico too now. So mm -hmm. it's, it's desk is out there. It was him. But something happened, uh, a little misunderstanding with Miss Clips and City. I had come in and moved all this stuff him to New Mexico. We got a big thing out there. So what's now? I'm trying to get it back him because Mr. Clips vented his speaker here in Hope. He buried right down the street, and ain't no sense in taking that thing out there. Because this is where he's invented speaker at, right here in Hope. Mm -hmm. And this, I'm here to make sure, you know, to keep it alive. I'm trying to add more stuff to it. When people come in, they see what Mr. Clip did, how kind of person he is, why he's famous, yeah. you know. So yeah. just, did we get your name earlier? Yeah, my name is Robert Wyatt Jr. So, are they, where are they making, are they still making the clip? They're still making the clip speaker here in Hope, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. The plant is still there. Just, just got dip them on them. Mm -hmm. All your box got in. Mm -hmm. You know, so they doing they so far, you know, doing pretty good out there with it, but we don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Well it, it, we don't want to see much change because this is still the finest speaker in the world. That's true. We just, and, that's true. And uh, and you know, you, you you buy a clips horn, it'll last you a hundred years, I'd right. imagine, for right. you had to right. Well I talked to one of the guys that with all your box said they didn't buy this. They did not buy the plant to tear it down, they buy it to keep it, you know, because mm -hmm. to, to my opinion, uh, round speakers that uh, all your box done a good thing because that's the high-end speaker that helped him, mm -hmm. you know. Well, you know, Clips makes some great computer speakers, too. Yes. And yes. They're, not, they're not big, but they sound big. Right, right. And right. They, they're making really good headphones right. now. Right. And they, they, you know, that's something that it's a big competition with clips, you know, mm -hmm. there are got some headphones out there that we didn't put out. Mm -hmm. You know, Reels got some stuff out there, Dale's, that got clips names on it ain't with it clips, so that's a lot Well, of I, I know I can tell the difference. If, yeah. I, if I get those computer speakers that aren't really the real clip speakers, mm -hmm. and you can set them next to any computer speaker around, they're going to beat it. Right. Just like you can set one of these clips, uh, right, clips horn, right, 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 you know, right, right. they just don't have that sound. Right. You know, you know, you know, like Bowles. Bowles been around here a long time. Yeah. It's still him. I mean, that's not what I thought clips going to be like, you know. Yeah. And, and. Well, Bowles makes a good speaker. Yeah, and Bowles been here. And yeah, I'll take Lansing made a good right. speaker and they right. had Voice of the Theater right. and all that. But they never could beat clips. No, ever. They tried. They, they get close. They get close. They get close. I know Clips is making a lot of movie theater speakers yes. too. Yes, yes. That does yes. a great right. job. Right, They do a lot of that theater stuff. I mean, mm. Rado Gatto, you know, he's the head of that. You know, building all the more big speakers, putting them behind mm. these screens and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, but I know when you listen to them, Shoot, you can't get a better sound out of any speaker I've heard. No, uh-uh. You know. Mm. That's great. The business, you know, these people have been around a long time, still sound good. Mm. That's amazing. Well, some good engineering went in them. Oh, yeah. 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 He loved that speaker. He loved that speaker. Then the folks that work out there, who work for the folks, mm. helping him, you know, I'm finna put the name on the wall. All the folks that were started in 1949, mm. stopped in 1989 until I get that five, I think it's like 500, 600 speakers, 600 mm -hmm. something names I got to put up on the wall first. Wow. So I'm trying to work on it. Let people know that these one that helped him, it wasn't for the folks, he wouldn't have got mm -hmm. that neither, you know. 
so. Well, just so if I, I if I put this where people can see it, would you tell them how to find the museum? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The museum is not hard to find. What 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 makes people can't find this museum? They get the Clinton Center mixed up with the museum here. Okay, mm -hmm. the Clinton Center is there, and uh, we in one of the buildings too. This building that you stand in now is the oldest building in Hope. This building was built in 1875. Yeah. It's the old railroad building. So when people come in in Hope, you see the signs on the, on I 30, okay. But when you get in here, you don't see hardly no signs saying the museum. You know, you see Clinton on the side, all the Amtrak, all your mill is right there side when mm -hmm. you come in here. It's the second, it's two buildings on this on this track here. One of them is the Clips Museum. I am putting a sign out there. And the art council is in here too, you know. Mm -hmm. But if they come in the hope and get to the Clinton Center, it's the next building mm -hmm. is the museum. Okay. You can't miss it. A lot of people get it mixed up all the time. But you get to the Clinton then the next building is us. It's That's not, something. And you look at that God come across that track. That building from the from the connect to the uh, to the garden is the museum. Well, this is this is was this an old railroad this station? It's an old railroad station. Uh huh. The old railroad station used to sit on the other side of the track. Okay. And they so the tracks are right here. Him. Right. They pulled it over him. Uh huh. You know? But the, yeah, it's an old building. I wish I'd have been in the day when they move it over. I like to see them trying to get that thing across that track. Mm -hmm. yeah, but they fixed it up. We modded everything, mm -hmm. and so so far I've been doing pretty good. They did a good job on me. Got still do a little work on it. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to do maintaining on this building. It don't take long. Paint start coming off the heat. Yeah. And stuff like that. Well, he was an amazing engineer. Yeah. He was something. He was something very special. Oh yeah. 